In this exercise, we will compute the similarity attributes with and without deep steering data and compare the results. Open the Attribute 3D Engine from Attributes 3D or from the 3D Attributes icon. Select Similarity from the list. We keep the input data, the four deep steered median filter, the time gate minus 2828, and we will set the extension to all direction. Keep the step out to 1 1, specify the steering to full, and the steering data will be the uh, steering background. Set the output statistic to a minimum and provide the output name as FS similarity, full steering similarity, and add as a new. In similar way, we will compute non-steering similarity attributes by setting the steering to none. We change the name to non-steering similarity add as a new and close the attribute set 3D. You can save these attributes as similarity with the extension for example and OK. We display the seismic data on inline 425 by right clicking on the inline Add and select data stored. We select the original seismic. OK. We change the inline number by right clicking on 425 and type in 250 and press enter. We load the first steering similarity attribute by the right clicking on the inline 250, add attribute and select the full steered similarity attributes and OK. Then we load the second attribute, non steered similarity, right clicking on 250 in line, add attributes, and we select NS similarity. We can change now the uh, color bar of both similarity to similarity. Right click and color bar and select similarity. Change as well the min max to 0609. And the second one, same thing, right click similarity. And we set the uh, minimum. 06 and 09. Then compare the two similarities by ticking on and off the upper attributes, in this case similarity without deep steering, with deep steering, without, with. Notice that the uh, similarity with the deep steering data shows much sharper faults. This concludes this exercise where we computed similarity attributes with and without deep steering data and compared the results.